Hello. Welcome to 5.7 again. I saw no point in reprinting all those. Example number three, we're going to do exactly what we did in the previous video except for one thing. We're going to change it into slope intercept form. And remember, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We're going to start with point slope form and then move it into that, which basically means we're going to simplify it and solve for y. Actually, in the other order, we're going to solve for y and simplify it. All right, so you can do this. First, I have my slope is four, negative 4, negative 4, and my point is negative 1, negative 2. So I write y subtract negative 2, because I'm subtracting that, equals my slope, negative 4, times x subtract negative 1. That's point slope form, and hopefully you have that in your notes already. Now I'm going to simplify my subtraction here. I get y plus 2 equals negative 4 times x plus 1. And in the previous video, that's where we stopped. I said you could also move that over to the other side. We're going to do that, all right? But we're also going to do one more step, or actually maybe a couple more steps. To get it into slope-intercept form, I need to get rid of my parentheses here. In other words, I need to multiply negative 4 times both of these. That is called distribution. I'm going to multiply the negative 4 times the x, and I'm going to multiply the negative 4 times the positive 1, which is negative 4. The y plus 2 has not done anything yet. I've not done anything with the 2 over there yet. Now, I'm going to add negative 2 to both sides here. And I get y equals negative 4x Negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. And this is slope-intercept form. So I want you to look at this again. First I started out with point-slope form. I simplified uh, inside the parentheses. Subtracting a negative 2 is the same as adding positive 2. This step I did distribution. Something you've seen in pre-algebra, in the first part of Algebra 1 in the 8th grade. And then we added negative 2 to both sides. And that ended up with slope-intercept form. Let's try the other one. So my slope is 1 -third my first x, my, sorry, the x of my point, which is my only x, but it's my, I say x sub 1, is negative 3, and my y value is 1. So I'm going to write y subtract 1 equals 1 third times x subtract negative 3. Again, that's point slope form. I'm going to simplify right here. y minus 1 equals one-third, those, I didn't mess with those yet, times x plus three. Now I'm going to do distribution. One-third times x is one-third x. One-third times three is one. Now I'm going to add one to both sides. And I'm kind of out of, well, maybe I can still squeeze it in there, okay? Put it way here at the bottom. I, I thought I was going to run out of room and put it over here, but I think I'm okay. Y equals one-third X plus two. So again, this is slope-intercept form. This is point, I'm sorry, excuse me, you got them backwards. I pointed to the wrong thing while I was talking. This is point-slope form. This is slope-intercept form. We will do lots more of those when we get to the... Uh, guided practice problems in, in uh, an upcoming video, okay?